if my calculations are right, that makes this Friday. And Friday means this is the last full day of camp for the kids and for us, too. It's as, as with, there is drama. From time to time, there is drama. And, and that is just all there is to it, whether it's a whole cabin full of girls suddenly getting mad at each other and then crying, or, uh, you know, some siblings that don't get along, or just, just things that happen in dynamics of young people. And that's part of the growing process, and, and that's part of why they're here. So it's not unexpected, and it's not wrong, uh, but it is uh, frustrating and, and inconvenient sometimes because they pick the wrong moments to go into meltdown. Um, yesterday they had the carnival. And the kids seem to really enjoy that, which is good. Um, today, well, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't think I mentioned it. Yesterday's hiking, you know, we did a little bit of the geocaching, but not enough campers had GPSs. Um, in fact, none of them did. And uh, so we had to split between my two and... Um, Rick had one and Don had one and oh Don, uh, Rick had two so so we had five uh, but you know we took 55 kids out on a hike which is amazing that we got them the first batch made it a kilometer before they just insisted on turning back and then the other ones made it the whole way which was not that far it was two two and a half two and three quarters of a kilometer Although some of it was just, you know, right up hills, off trail, looking for the geocaches. But breaking up then 25 kids into five groups, one for each GPS, to do the geocaching, and then sending them all at the same geocache, guess what? They basically all headed for the same thing, so you might as well have had one group. And so when the first group got there, then the thing, it, it didn't... It didn't work. It wasn't our original plan to do it that way anyway. But it just kind of worked out that way. So if we want to continue the geocaching, it needs to be a elective activity, perhaps. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think the idea has merit. But... I wouldn't say that the implementation went off as well as it could anyway, so we still have a couple of geocaches that haven't been found, those here in camp. We might do those during free time today for kids who want to try it. And otherwise, you know, this is, this is the day when they're going to start getting emotional towards the end of the day because they're going to start thinking about the fact that this is it. Tonight's their last night. Tomorrow, you know, we're going to spend most of our time probably cleaning, and then their parents are going to come get them, and a lot of them who have made very good friends aren't going to see them for another year. And, you know, there's a lot of kids here that you grow attached to that we're not going to see for a year either. And every time you do see them, they have gotten a lot bigger. Well, I better turn on the generator so that people can see when they're taking their showers. The kids are doing a service project now, so or several service projects. Depends on how you want to look at that. They're, uh, you know, helping out around the camp, making it a better place so that the camp's better each and every year that we come here. But uh, sometimes they're hilarious. The, the motivational efforts, like. Oh, you know, do you work out in your garden? Like, I don't leave my room hardly at all during the day. And another one's like, I sleep 13 hours a day. <laughs> it's like, who can be the biggest sloth? <laughs> <clears throat> 
rocks and raking and clearing up fire hazards up that way and cleaning up micro garbage at this end. That's, that's the way to go. That's camp down below us. I'm uh, climbing up the hill again to the phone reception point just to check on things. It's really kind of a cool place for a camp, but this valley that it's in, that basically, you know, down that way, and then across the stream, Ash Creek, and then up the other side, just as high or higher than this hill. And uh, Prescott is kind of behind me. Prescott Valley, perhaps down the stream, maybe. You might reach something, maybe Dewey. Anyway, it just really doesn't get any signal up here. You gotta climb up to the top. Which is where I am, next to the uh, water tanks. Every morning, they run the pumps. They pump water from the ground down there using the generator. They pump water into this tank and, uh, and that's what feeds the entire camp. So we have to use uh, very, very little water per day. Uh, they say the average up here on this camp is 12 gallons a day per person. Just not much water. We finally got a picturesque campfire. There's quite a bit of drama going on over there on the other side of the field. Way over there. Um, one of the campers has been apparently sprayed in the face with water. And she's upset about that. And I don't say that that's wrong. But she doesn't know who did it. Uh, but apparently she's fighting mad that they should have consequences. Um, those are frogs, by the way. Over there, they have decided to go frog wild. Anyway, the reason I mention it is not because it really matters that that happened. These things happen and, and feelings get hurt and people get upset and, and that happens. <clears throat> What's funny is that they're, they're doing their little discussion and fact-finding session in front of the rec hall. And right now they're doing line dancing in the rec hall. And so they're playing that Mr. Sandman song, you know, Mr. Sandman, doon, 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 which is so ridiculously incongruous to the discussion that's going on outside that I had to walk away before I started to laugh. It, it, it's a serious subject and it cannot be taken seriously when listening to Mr. Sandman. Nothing can be taken seriously when listening to Mr. Sandman. This is the last night. Uh, here in about, <clears throat> I don't know, 10-15 minutes, we're going to go into the rec hall and uh, we're going to have the campers are going to do skits that they've prepared and the, the music elective are going to do some music and the drama club's going to do some drama and the Pinewood Derby people are going to race their Pinewood Derby cars. Uh, and Michelle's got one in that and uh, she's got a horse in that race. And, uh, and then that will be the final evening uh, here at camp. Tomorrow it's mostly cleanup, some fun activities just to keep them busy, uh, and then starting around one o'clock the parents come and take them out. And I believe that is the end of Socrates Cafe for another Camp Quest Arizona session. It's quite well turned out tonight. A lot of kids over there discussing what makes greatness In any case, I'm probably not going to run another one tonight, so like, comment, and subscribe, and tomorrow, busy day, right? Heading back down the mountain. I shall tell this story on some other day, but I just want to remind myself of it. I am standing here on top of the cell phone hill in the middle of the night <laughs> for reasons I can't disclose. <laughs> But it was a fun night hike. <laughs> we should do this more often. <laughs>